Hello. Welcome to our 0.4.0 update. Thanks for tuning in and checking out what's new. We've been hard at work the past few months, and there's a lot of new things to show. So let's get started. First new feature, terminal integration. We support the term command, and when we run it, we jump into our default shell. I can run commands, like ls. I can also jump into normal mode with control slash n, the same key binding as vim. Here I can move around, even copy, but of course, this isn't editable. But if I try, notice this great new notification UI that Glenn put together in the status bar. It features a smooth color transition and a nice animation. In addition to the notification UI, there's several other new pieces of UI, like this context menu, available on right click. But we also built a tooltip control, and these are really foundational controls, controls that will help enable us to build other new features. And they're really important, especially for users that are new to Vim or modal editing. If I want to get back to running commands, I can press any key that would take me to insert mode, like the traditional I. Now the true test of a terminal is can it run Vim? Yes, it can. And besides the vim term command, you can also open terminals from our command palette. We can open a terminal on a vertical split or a horizontal split. All right, I'm going to close all these terminals out with our sneak mode, control G. The next feature I want to show is our initial source control integration by Glenn. This uses the VS code extension host, and we now bundle the VS Code git extension by default. As I'm working on a file, if it's associated with version control, I get diff markers in the gutter. We show modified lines, added lines, and remove lines. Now check out the file explorer. When I save the file, the color changes. We actually highlight staged and change files in the explorer. Finally, we also have a source control pane we're working on which lets me see stage changes, and I can even commit directly from it. There's also been some under the hood improvements to our input controls and input models. One area that's been improved significantly is our text input control. These are used in our menus and search. A contributor, Anton, built a selection experience, added support for home and end keys, and we also support control H and control W now in these controls. Thanks, Anton, for your help and work around this. The last input-related item that I want to talk about for 0.4.0 is auto-closing pairs. These are now turned on by default, and we use the language configuration from VS Code extensions to figure out which auto-closing pairs are supported. If I type any of these auto-closing characters, like parentheses or a bracket, the corresponding pair will be inserted, and I can backspace to get rid of them both. We use the VS Code language configuration to decide which pairs to use, and also what syntax scopes they should apply to. Final thing I want to show are a couple fun experimental features that made it in, and we're testing out and working on stabilizing that are new in 0.4.0. There's two that I've enabled during this demo, experimental smooth scroll and experimental cursor animation. And I find they're really useful for learning because you get feedback in terms of how the screen and cursor are moving, as well as great for showing off modal editing. We still need to polish and stabilize these features, but it might be fun to play around with. Oh, one other cool feature that Glenn added is a comment operator, GC. This is used to toggle whether a line is commented, and it's used with emotion. So I can comment a couple of lines in visual mode, or I can comment the whole file with GCG. Very useful. Now, when I try and quit by closing the window, I get to experience our new dialog UI. This is cool because it actually shows the Vim commands with the appropriate actions. We have a similar dialog for when a file is changed outside of the editor. And I'm excited about this because it's really our first step in terms of making our editor easier to learn. In terms of next steps for our 0.5.0 build, I really want to zero in on the extension compatibility. So our next milestone 
is three months out and will be taking on the extension pieces that didn't make it in for 0.4.0. I want to see some of the most common plugins work, like Python, and broaden out and polish the set of features that we do support. Right, that's all I have for today. I want to thank everyone that's helped us get this far and helped us on our journey. Users who've contributed code, users who've logged great bugs, our patrons, people who've pre-ordered, thank you so much for helping us on our mission, even in these crazy times. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll catch you next time.